Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. When we last left off, we had uh, some nice success. Finished up this whole adventure, actually, the uh, the Mimic Queen adventure. And now we've actually unlocked another one. And uh, we still got these two to finish. I'm actually going to try and finish some of these. Let's uh, let's try the, the Dark Knight again. I'm trying to think. He's got mixed physical and magic damage. But he takes extra damage from magic, so let's give Totham a try. I know that I think we tried Apprentice last time we did this and it didn't quite work out. But, uh, I don't know, I'm, feel, I'm feeling lucky, I guess. Let's give it a try. Alright. Worthy challenger at last? Yes, indeed. So we have eight turns before he chases us down no matter where we are on the map. And I think... Uh, hmm... Is this a good fountain? It is not a good fountain. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Uh, can we kill a goblin? Probably-ish. Maybe. Maybe. Hugging the bottle, holding it down, of course. Anger card right off the bat. We'll hit him with a fire blast. Try to make some, some headway here. I think intuition would be... Pretty much the well, actually, I was gonna say pretty much the wrong choice, but now since we're gonna lose a card, I think maybe it's the right choice. Here we go. We got uh, we got some sparks. We got some zaps. I think we're gonna be okay unless he gets his two damage anger card, which he did. Although no, we're gonna be fine because we uh, yeah we had the damage. It's fine. Nothing to be worried about. Not yet anyway. Thanks to hugging the bottle anyway. So we're looking for physical defense cards, more or less. Which to me says Troll Femur at the moment, anyway. I think the uh, the benefits are or outweigh the uh, the not benefits, the <laughs> the negatives for um, for the Troll Femur. That one stupidity card isn't great, but what can you do other than not take it? So we may not be able to get both of these chests realistically here, but we'll do what we can. We can certainly kill a fire imp. I think we've proven that a hundred thousand times in the past. Hate to use hugging a bottle on it, but we have to do something. Actually, we got we both got stupidity cards right off the bat there. There we go. All right, uh, let us throw down a slam, and then what is what is that owl do again? Oh, yeah, 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 if you're surrounded by a bunch of tiles, okay. Uh, we can't block all of that, but we can do some damage and uh, negate, actually. One point of that, at least. Spark, we can block. So this should be over fairly uh, quickly here. Just need, uh, where's our zap? There we go. And I didn't even actually need to do a one. He got a stupidity card again. He's only got, like, five cards or something like that. Okay, what are we looking at? No, I think we'll take the Pigeon Nest. Restore is pretty good, actually. Okay, so we can certainly... If we want to put that there... And then it'll leave our options open a little bit, I suppose. Uh, let's put a Mimic here. This is a little bit dangerous, but... We, uh, we need the levels, we need the loot, so we gotta do something here. All right, can we kill a Mimic? We're actually kind of low in HP. Uh, and that's a lot of damage. But we can block some of it, so it won't be so, so bad. And the Bite, we're actually going to hit them, hit them with a Restore here, so we'll be back to full HP, and that'll even things up a little bit. Headbutt, lots of damage. However, the Slam, I think, is probably a good card to play here. Keeps us ahead just barely. And we can get this HP back. So we should be fine here. Oh, balls. Oh, no, we have a Sparks. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna, I was hoping to, to zap him, but uh, yeah, that Darkness card messed up my plan. All right, we've got some decent cards here. We've got, uh, let's see, Tattered Mail with a Repel is pretty tempting, but I don't know if I can handle two stupidity cards. It might be time to uh, maybe take this Crossbow. Hmm. Yes, let's take the crossbow. I like I like the interrupt uh, card quite a bit. 
Oh dear. I don't really want to fight any of these though. I don't know really if we have a whole lot of choice if we want to get some stuff. Um let's let's not fight anything just yet. We'll just take a turn off. So we, this chest, I mean, is free. <laughs> so if we can get some, some good stuff out of it, out of it, that'll help a lot. Um, in fact, put that there for sure. And then, can we, what happens if we put a scorpion here? Yeah, okay. I like, I like this plan. I think we'll get the chest, then we'll go get the scorpion. And then, uh, I don't think we'll make it to that other thing, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Plus one HP, we get restore back, and we get refresh, which seems pretty good. And wooden shield gives us tenacious, which means we can't be killed unless we're on one HP. These are all actually pretty good cards. Um, I think I'm going to take the wolf pelt, though. I like the idea of all that healing potential. All right, we're definitely not going to be fighting a bandito. Let's just go fight the, uh, the scorpion here. And yeah, I don't think three turns, there's no way we're going to make it to that other chest, unfortunately, but that's all right. We we done all right here. In fact, I actually like how this is going already. Lots of HP, although the Scorpion has a huge amount of damage potential, so I think I'll zap him here. And yeah, we don't want to play this card because it just sets our, our HP to six. So, got to be careful with it. In fact, we might even just lose it right now. But, you know, if, it, if that happens, so be it. We did indeed. That's eh, okay. Charge. Oh, man, that's actually pretty nasty. I guess we'll lose the rekindle. Because I think he has some magic damage. Oh, we still got one HP back, so I guess that was a good choice. Uh, and we can block this restore. So, yeah, it was a very, very good choice. Otherwise, we'd be in a lot of trouble right now, I think. And I'm glad we have that. A little late, but perhaps we can still make use of it. And we got a card back, which is nice. What are we thinking here? Head blow. Can't block it. So, we'll just hope that he doesn't get rid of uh, that card. <laughs> well, what can you do? This is actually a bit of a dangerous situation. I'm going to fire shield him because we need to get some damage. Can we do it? Oh! No, we can't do it. Balls, come on, dude. How is this so hard? We killed each other. Come gather round and listen now to our hero's epic tale. To all of an epic journey. <laughs> but also an epic fail. <laughs> That's disappointing. All right, let's try it with, um, let's try it again, but not with face toes. We'll do it with, uh, Sue here, and we'll try to buy us magical equipment if we can. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we can actually get this adventure done. It'll be done this like a hundred times, I feel like. Um, hmm. These cards actually aren't quite as bad as our initial run last time. I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and put those like that. We'll just, uh, we'll just wait for something easy to fight, like a goblin. Even a fire imp should be doable. Actually, we'll find a nasty rat. I don't think we've fought a nasty rat in a long time. we put that there, and we'll put a, might as well put a gold coin there, I guess. All right, nasty rat, what you got? How nasty is he? Not nasty enough, I suspect. And a fight? That is a little annoying. I guess we'll just throw out the oi. Yeah, we're definitely gonna block the Neurotoxin, though. That's uh, not, not one of my favorite cards to have uh, thrown my way. But there we go. Nasty Rat has been vanquished! What kind of awesome level 1 looter are we gonna get? Actually, the Soldier's Helmet is not too bad. But uh, I think the, the Holy Seal is a little bit better on a Bruiser. Like that versatility and potential for damage and healing and blocking damage. We could probably almost take one of these, but 
Let's not get too cute with it. Let's just fight another uh, another nasty rat, maybe. And uh, we'll put a uh, we'll put a bear owl up here, though. I'm banking on getting a level two monster next turn. It's a little risky, a little risky, but we'll see if it pays off. All right, we can't block that, so I guess we're just gonna have to do one of those. I didn't forget. Yeah, I guess the nasty rat does have a lot of unblockables. A little annoying, not so good for the Bruiser actually, but seem to be doing fine. And one more, if we can just get one more damage card, we'll be in the clear here. And we did. I guess we could have blocked it either way, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, there we go. Alright, what are we thinking? Actually, the Koopa, very useful here. I want to use that against the Knight if possible. Hey, and uh, my gamble paid off, so... Feeling pretty uh, vindicated about that. Let's uh, let's fight this mimic and uh, get some fat loot. Hopefully next turn, maybe even this turn. Level two cards. There's some pretty good ones. Charge. We can block that. Hoping we get our magic defense card though, because that acrid fog is nasty shit. And I know it's coming. Any time now. Just a darkness, and there it is. We can actually uh, we'll just. Do an oi here, I guess. That's fine. It's a close fight, though. We're not not in the clear yet. Oof. Uh, we're very much not in the clear. Let's uh, block one of those. It'll make me feel a little bit better about our situation. And an anger card, which we can uh, take with a holy seal. All right, there we go. Very nice. What do we got? The glyph. Yeah, the glyph sounds pretty good, actually. What do we have in our offhand? Oh, the Koopa. Right, right, right. This is a better card, though. Daisy Chain... Pretty good as well, but I think I'm gonna take the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take the Glyph. Alright, can we defeat a Bear Howl? I think that we probably can. And I guess I'm gonna start... Building some shit over here, I mean... Like I said, there's pretty much no situation where we're, we're going to get to this other chest at this point. Um, maybe uh, we do like a, another bear owl there, though. Get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more level three loot. So, all right. It's going to be careful about the fury. We're uh, yeah, we're going to block that. I don't think he has that much else in magic attacks, so. I think it would be wise. Can't do anything about that though, so. Take care of that, and ooh, hmm. I think I'm gonna save my Holy Seal for now. And just deal the one unblockable. And again. Ah, uh, yes, yes, let's smite him, actually. Get, uh, get some damage going here. Now he's gonna start hitting us with claws and shit. Um, can't block at all. Very dangerous situation that we've put ourselves in. I think I'll, I'll do it like that. What's he got? Head blow. Ah, here we go. Excellent. All right. That was a little bit closer than I'd like it to be. Spiky saving the day for sure. Wooden shield. New. Interrupt? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think we'll take the spear for the interrupt. It's pretty good. And actually, we'll take this wolf belt <laughs> as well, for sure. Wolf belt's pretty decent. All right. So we can still use probably a better hat, if nothing else. Go ahead and put that guy down there. And we want to put down... Anything else? Scorpion here, maybe? Can we kill a scorpion? Let's hope that we can kill a scorpion. I think we can. I think we can. I got. I believe. I believe. But first, let's worry about the bear owl, I guess. Because he's going to do shit like that. Well, we can get that HP back. That's fine. Head blow. We can't block it. That makes me uh, a little bit sad. So, uh, we'll hope we discard the oi. Yes. That's good. That is less good. Um, he's gonna block it no matter what we do, so I guess we'll just get rid of the Oi card. 
don't think we have any additional card draw either, which is a bit of a problem. That's why I saved the, uh, well, I was hoping to save the spear card there. But now he's in fury mode, which could be a problem for us. Uh, actually, the shift could, let's, let's throw out the shift. Get a, uh, an additional card here. All right, two points with a claw. Uh, lock that. And a neurotoxin, which is acceptable because we can just kill him with that. That's fine. Okay. A little bit close again, but not close enough. Okay, yeah, and actually asking you, so you shall receive a uh, much better hat. I think, yes, we're going to take this Masquerade Mask. So maybe... <laughs> that looks very silly. Looks like he's uh, in a, uh, a play of some kind with uh, the, you know, the Vikings and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna fight the Scorpion and I think duel in two turns. I mean, do we even really need to fight anything else? Probably not. I think I'm just going to... Put that there, and I don't know, we can put that there, I guess. Is that a good fountain? I mean, we'll never reach it, but nope, terrible fountain, actually. Hopefully we can kill the scorpion, and maybe we'll get a better offhand, maybe not. We shall see. Uh, let's shift here. Scorpion has a lot of good cards, very dangerous. Bite, not a fan of the bite, but we can restore and take care of that. And you know he has he has he has a restore. Great. Uh, actually, we'll nice try chump this one. I think. Thought about using shift as I or the uh, the interrupt. That's also a good good choice. But oh man, jeez, that card is fucking nasty. Holy crap. We can block most of it though. Thank goodness. Head blow. We will absolutely block. Uh, we'll just use you trying something. I think for this one. And now we'll use uh, Holy Seal. Yes, yeah, I'm liking this build. This is, this is pretty good. Pretty good. The charge, we can block that with Blinding Light and we're going to get some HP back. It's working out really well, actually. Ooh, but he's got a parry. Uh, that's fine. We can just Mind Strike him and that'll be the end of that. Very nice. Offhand. Yes, actually, we got... Uh, we will lose focus, which is... Plus one magic. Yeah, I, I would rather have the Warhorn, I think. So we shall take the Warhorn. I think the Red Mail is actually really good as well, if I'm not mistaken here. But I don't think there's there's really any reason to fight anything else. Let's just end our turn and let come what may. We've prepared, I think, as best uh, as we uh, reasonably can here for the Black Knight. Here we go. Alright, so this guy, as I mentioned, he's mundane, so incoming magic attacks get plus one damage, which is awesome, and in fact, he's going to take a shitload of damage right now. Four damage. Oh, no, three damage, my bad, yeah, because he's blocked, he blocked one. My mistake. Nonetheless, we'll, uh, eat some shit right there, that's fine. Oh, that curse card is so bad. However, we can fire blast him and do three damage here. Lost our oi, that's not good, but it, yeah, it's... Oh, woohoo. Ouch, that hurts a lot, actually. Um, what do we do here? Three damage? I guess we'll do a how do you like this. Forgot that he had that card. That card's really good. That's why I don't like fighting banditos. And we can't block that, so <laughs> that's all we have is blocks. Fuck. This game's too hard. Ugh. That's terrible. We we're so close! How many ways can a dungeoneer die before you call it a day? How many children must you make cry after that pitiful display? All right, all right. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. When we come back, we will probably go and check out that new adventure. That sounds like a good idea. Something fun to, to do, and uh, someday I promise we will we will beat the Black Knight. We will beat Embro. But sadly, that day is not today. So, until next time, my name is Ben Rojo, and thanks for watching.